I have no doubts that this uh, audio file market we are so much invested in is getting crazy by every passing day. We are getting a lot of products, a lot of fancier products and stuff. We are getting a bunch of IEMs each day. We get to see a lot of sources every year. Every brand is coming out with dongles and stuff with fancier stuff. Look at this, okay? DDI5, simplifying the clutter, okay? No cable to worry about, no big bulk to worry about, just one and half inch of pure audio. Plug into your Type C phone, it comes in lightning through, and uh, you are good to go. 4.4 mm. Type C or Lightning houses uh, two CS43131 DAC chips. It is very, very convenient for those who like to have balanced output on the go. One do not need to worry about anything really, and it is wired. I, I do not prefer wireless music mostly because of the loss of details lot of loss of clarity we compromise on a lot of stuff but uh, this one is one of the most convenient compromises one can do why i'm saying compromises because we do not have a lot of power okay if you are going to drive a very power hungry i am with this 120 mw per channel will not cut it Okay, no doubts about that. 120 MW will not be able to drive a Plana based IEM to its full potential. Even a very power hungry EST based IEM that is rated at over 60 ohm, 50 ohm will be hard for this small dongle to drive. And uh, it isn't exactly made for headphones but it it still can drive decently i'll have to say sensitive okay that aren't very power hungry headphones and iems without any issues and i was able to drive a handful of iems without any issues even the quintet the kiwi years quintet was responding very well to the tc44 pro so no the lack of power isn't that of a big problem if you are not going to put it against a lot of uh, power hungry IEMs, very uh, insensitive IEMs. If you have a decently sensitive IEM, it will do the job. It has decent amount of power. I do find this to be not the best obviously when it comes to uh, the details and stuff and definition. This is decent okay no questions about that but if you want very uh, capable resolution very defined definitions you might spend on a bit more uh, power and a bit of a bigger brand this one is for convenience okay i just plug it in my phone and i'm ready to go no need to do anything okay it is perfectly ready to go all good to go so this is this is the convenience kind of thing not about the power or anything like that and if you want that convenience this is fantastic this is superb small convenient decently powerful and uh, if you want something for everyday commute this is mind-blowing it does not have the oof the extra bit of power but the quality and clarity is there if you are willing to use it with a single dd im this will do your job no questions about that and it isn't exactly very flavored either fairly neutral i like the tuning of this uh, the amp inside it is tuned well for delivering a more more balanced kind of output it isn't exactly rash or anything like that. There are no uh, devils or uh, sharpness to worry about. So this small dongle, DD Hi-Fi, 
PC 44 Pro is for those who are looking for a everyday commute kind of thing. They use it for their travel or for the convenience. You travel with a dongle, it kind of bothers you and thanks to its lower, lower power requirements, it does not take the extra bit of toll on the mobile phone's battery. I have nearly gotten around 20 hours of battery life out of my mobile phone while playing with this. So that's, that's the beauty of this. Even if you have a 8 hour bus or anything like that, you will not be left with an empty battery when your commute ends. So that's a good thing about this dongle. It is small, convenient and decently capable. No issues with the clarity or details or definition. It is small, it is very convenient and very capable too. So if you want something for convenience, go for this, go for this. This is very, very convenient. So this is my review of DD Hi-Fi PC 44 Pro. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day. Enjoy.